Well, this is Bill Palmer, and I wanted to share some information with you about the caves down here in the Ozarks. We've got about 5,000 caves here in Missouri, and most of those are down in the Ozarks, and it's really unique. It's a, a growing hobby. A lot of people like to go out and look at the caves. When you go canoeing on a river like this, you'll see several caves. It's real common to stop by the cave, walk up, take a look at the inside. Some of the caves are gated because they have endangered bats in them. Some you can go in for a short ways. Be sure to carry a flashlight. You don't want to touch or break anything, but it's a real unique environment and one that everybody should get a chance to enjoy when canoeing in the Ozarks. Bill, how long have you been caving in the Ozarks anyway? I know that you're an old-time caver, and at one time you were known as Mr. Caver of America. Can you uh, make any further comments? Well, I started caving in the 60s, and of course now it's the turn of the century, but it's kind of interesting. Out of the 5,000 caves in Missouri, I haven't been in very many of them, but one of the neat things is everyone you go to is unique. It has its own personality. And it's a joy to go in and just take your time, look around, see what you can see in the cave. You can see the formations, you can see animals, you can see bats. You can think about all the people that have been in here. Maybe there were prehistoric cave bears using this cave. Maybe there were lions using this cave at one time. Maybe even people used this cave at one time. Unfortunately, some of the people who have used the cave have left vandalism behind. We don't like to see that. Of course, one of the things we do down here is try to educate people and let them know that these are a unique resource and to take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints. Thank you, Bill. I really appreciate that. Now, I would like to ask you another question. You said, well, maybe there were people in the caves. Maybe there were lions. Maybe there were animals. Is there any evidence to support any of this? Sure. One of the things you can do if you've had some experience with caves is take a look as you go along. And you may see these shallow depressions in these clay banks. Those are actually bear beds where bears have come in and scratched away the clay and then hibernated right there all winter. Then we found other caves where we've actually seen cat marks where we've even cast tracks of those cats. That's pretty amazing to look at something that's 12 to 20,000 years old. Mm -hmm.